After I uploaded my video on NASA, I published it on other platforms. Because I have a relatively small channel, I can't reach many people. So I have to promote videos in other places, otherwise I will just be talking to myself. Naturally, uploading the sort of content that I upload will cause controversy and make some people upset. So I expected to get backlash over the video from people who just read the title and get angry. So angry that all they can do is scream. But Reddit really took criticism to a whole new level. You probably know Reddit. The website is designed in this way. Users upload posts, and the popular posts make it to the front page. But you wouldn't really understand the system unless you spent some time on it. Reddit is divided to subreddits. Each subreddit has its own topic. Some subreddits have really interesting content. And on a side note, I wanted to share this post that I found. Bad day to wear your rocket costume. This doesn't look at all like some sort of a fucked up ritual or anything. But back to our topic. If you dig a bit in this website, you discover the dark side of it. The people who built Reddit were able to construct the ultimate practice of thought police. As a user, you are allowed to have only the same opinion as everybody else on the subreddit. Or better yet, no opinion at all. Just agree with popular comments and get upvoted. Not following this unwritten rule will result with you being virtually lynched by the rest of the community. The admins don't even have to do much, since this system turns everyone into a cup. You can imagine how young people who are easily influenced might join a community thinking in a certain way but completely changing their personality and becoming one of the Reddit cops soon enough. Or ending up doing something they don't want to do, purely because of social pressure. Here is what happens when a user challenges Reddit's way of thinking. I published my video that raised questions about NASA's technology. Of course, not too long after posting my content, it was removed by the admins. And here you can see this person expressing not being amused by my video. This user believes that quartz can vibrate in vacuum without a problem. Here is an explanation on piezoelectricity, which is the name for the effect that makes quartz vibrate. In short, I claim that quartz that is not affected by gravity will not be able to keep vibrating in the same frequency which is necessary for a computer in order to operate. And I will tell you more than that, I don't believe that anything will vibrate normally in these conditions, so biological life forms will not even be able to survive in this atmosphere. And here is another one. Obviously my post was removed again, because we can't have these filthy videos corrupting the minds of innocent Reddit users. And I want you to read this comment. Ex-NASA scientist here. Bow down to your emperor mortals. And he's quoting me. Quartz clocks can't work in space. My fucking sides. What an idiot. Why are you gay? Uh, 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 why should someone be gay? Beautiful thing, the internet. A place where anyone can be anyone. This guy might be an experienced physicist, or a 14-year-old kid who took a break from masturbating to insult people on the internet. I was a refugee girl and an Instagram model on the internet. And these are just examples from last week. But for the sake of the argument, let's assume this user is a serious person.
and he really did work for NASA. I never suggested that every single employee of NASA is part of this scam, and I'm not claiming that this guy is part of it. But where is your counter-argument? Do you have one? Calling me nuts won't cut it. And if I scroll down, you can see how the circle jerk goes on. One can only wonder how much longer this would have continued if my post wasn't removed. I also received comments about a technical mistake I made in my explanation on how computers work. In the video I explained that a clock cycle equals one bit, which is not true. What happened is that I combined the terms clock cycle and clock tick. A clock tick transmits one bit. For every clock cycle, the computer fetches one instruction, which is normally 32 or 64 bits in modern systems. These instructions are transmitted using clock ticks as bits and translated to high and low voltages. So basically I skipped a step in my explanation. There are other ways to build a computer without crystals using electric LC oscillators. Here is a comparison I found between LC oscillators and crystal oscillators. Looking at this table, I can't imagine this being used in advanced systems. I might have missed it, but when I researched NASA systems, I didn't see any mention of a computer that doesn't use crystals. A corporation like IBM, that used to build the computers for NASA spaceships, would have celebrated such a revolutionary design, in my opinion. For those who asked me how satellites exist, all of them are in the exosphere, not in outer space. In the end of the video, I asked how NASA spends its budget. There are some who believe it is spent on black ops. That would be my guess too, but to prove that, I would have to talk to a whistleblower or someone who hacked NASA and stole documents that verify that.